every landmark in the crew with real world labels where I was able. Let's go.
Okay, so this was not a video I ever really wanted to make, but that being said, it was a video I felt I had to make, given the recent announcements by Ubisoft and Ivory Tower. In case you've not heard, the crew has officially been delisted, and will be rendered completely unplayable as of March 31st. I had seen the writing on the wall for a while, especially when Motorfest came out. And while the crew too will continue to give players a cross-country driving experience, I still contend that it was lacking a lot of what made the original so great. As this video clearly demonstrates, the landmark system in the Crew 1 was really well done, and it was ultimately gutted in the Crew 2. While many of the same landmarks are scattered around the map in the Crew 2, almost none of them are labeled, and many players will probably never realize that a lot of these places existed, or to see the appeal that these places had. And a lot of this I blame on the fact that you can play the Crew 2 completely through its menu system, never actually driving from place to place. Which really is a shame and dampens the whole reason for a game like this to exist. I think it's highly unlikely that Ivory Tower is going to patch this game for offline play, let alone to relist it in the future. That ship has effectively sailed. But for me personally, I think what I would like to see is elements from the Crew 1 being brought into the Crew 2, or even into Motorfest. I would say, since it's been 9 years since the plot of the Crew, why not bring some of the characters back in Motorfest? Bring back Alex Taylor, bring back Eric Sue, let Shiv out of prison. You know, you can do that as a playlist, it wouldn't be all that difficult. The only problem I can think of is they can't do explicit street racing because companies like Toyota have them by the scruff of the neck with this whole street racing bad thing, so they'll have to find a more creative way of using the characters. And as for the landmark system, I really think Ivory Tower could bring it back in a new way. For example, they could actually do something similar to the Ingress game by Niantic, where you go to different locations and quote unquote capture them. And then whichever team holds the most locations during that week is the winner. Like, make it where to capture a territory, a team has to have the most collective points. You already have a point system for summits, so just use that. I really don't like accusing a company of being lazy, especially when that company is keeping good racing games alive, but if you are going to take away one of your best games, you do need to replace it with something else. You can't just expect your fanbase to be content with the sequel they've been playing for five years and the new game that is half a year old and already growing stale for some of those players because of what it is currently lacking. That's just my two cents. The ball is now in your court. And to everyone else, thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video.